You see, with God, remember, He is impeccable. He is without sin. He is pure. You can't be a little bit right with God or a little bit wrong with God. You've either got to be perfectly right with God or you're completely wrong with God. But the moment you place your faith in Christ, God legally declares you to be right with Him, and then He treats you as right with Him. So that even when He disciplines His children, He does so as a father and not as a judge judicially. You've moved into a completely different realm, and that's what Romans 5 and 6 is about. You've moved now into a completely different realm. Before, you were in Adam which was sin, law, condemnation, and death. Now you are in Christ. Justification, righteousness, and life. Okay, now look what it says. It says, for being justified as a gift by His grace. Now, I want you to think about this. Paul seems to be rather redundant here. It's almost as though he's saying, you were justified as a gift, as a gift, as a gift, as a gift, as a gift. Now, the word here, as, or the phrase, as a gift, is translated from the Greek word dorian. That word is used somewhere else, specifically when it's talking about the Messiah in the book of John, and it says they hated Him without a cause. They hated me without a cause. Dorian, they hated me without a cause. Now, when you take that and look at Romans 24, 324, what is it saying? Being justified without a cause. And what does that mean? You never gave God a cause or reason to justify you. Do you see that? You and I only gave God a reason or a cause to condemn us. He justified us and He did so in a way that was alien to us. He did so in a way that had nothing to do with you. He did not justify you because of you. He justified you in spite of you. It's grace. Now that comes down to this. If you ever take a contemporary religion class with me, it's really easy. I know you know there's multitudes and hundreds and thousands of religions in the world. No, there's not. It's really not. There's only two. Really, there's only two religions in the whole world. And what are they? There's Christianity, which is a religion of grace. And there's all the other religions of the world can be rolled up under this category, religions of works. Every one of them. Everyone, that's what's unique to Christianity. And what's so surprising and so manifest, the evil of men, that they would hate with the utmost hatred the one religion that is free, that is a gift. They hate it. Why? Because it exalts God and debases man. But if I were to stand up here and I was a reporter and I had an Orthodox Jew and a Muslim and a real Christian, I mean a real one, and, I, and as the reporter, a secular man, I said to the, the, the Muslim, I said, sir, if you died right now, where would you go? And let's say he said, I would go to paradise. And I go, well, why would you go to paradise? And he says, well, the five pillars I've completed. I've given alms to the poor. I've made the pilgrimages. I've said the daily prayers. I am a righteous man. Well, as a secular reporter, thinking logically, I go, well, that makes sense. He's going to heaven because he earned it. I mean, God owes him. He did it. He's a good man. I go to the Orthodox Jew and I say, if you died right now, where would you go? Well, I would go into the, I'd go to paradise. Why? Because I love the Torah. I love the law of God. I, I, I love God's righteousness, His law, His word. As a secular man, I look at that and I say, logical? He earned it. God owes him. I go to the Christian, the real Christian. And I say, if you died right now, where would you go? And he said, I'd go to heaven. Why? And he says this, I was born in sin, and in sin did my mother conceive me. I have broken every law of my God, and I deserve judgment and condemnation. And as a reporter, I look at that and I go, Sir, this is rather awkward. The other two I understand. But you're telling me that you're, they're going to heaven because, well, they, they earned it. 
You tell me you're going to heaven even though you deserve the very opposite. Sir, how are you going to heaven? And the Christian says, I'm going to heaven based upon the virtue and the merit of another, Jesus Christ my Lord. That's why the Christian is the only person who can actually say he's going to heaven and not be boasting. They can say he's going to heaven and at the same time humble himself because it is not by his own merit or virtue. Now I am not teaching, as I will later demonstrate, especially tomorrow, that the true Christian lives like the devil and goes to heaven. Because the same God who justifies also regenerates. The doctrine of regeneration. You see, man only has two problems. The condemnation of sin and the power of sin. Through justification, God puts away the condemnation of sin and through regeneration, He puts away the power of sin so that those who have truly been justified have been regenerated and are able to walk in newness of life, bearing fruit and demonstrating that their confession is true. But it is still salvation by grace nonetheless.